How many times, Lord, have I been careful? Every step you've been with me. It's so many moments that I have been broken, only to find you. deserve it but you say I'm worth it again and again Well, hey there, happy Thanksgiving, wherever you're joining us from. I love that this is not only a national holiday that we all get to celebrate, but it's also a religious holiday that we of all people have a God to whom we give thanks. And so I'm so glad that you're joining us here. Uh, I'm Doug Moss, one of the pastors at Pathfinder Church, and we're being hosted at the Cook household. We've got the whole Cook family with us, as well as a few of our church friends who you probably recognize uh, from the stage, part of our worship. We've got Frank and Marcy here with us, and Jonathan and Annalise are on stage. Staff. And we're just excited to have a short time of worship with you. And then we're going to have some Thanksgiving conversation as well that we hope will maybe spark something in your Thanksgiving conversation a little bit later. So I invite you to join us as we sing some praises and give thanks to our God. Goodness of God. 
the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. It's running after, it's running after God, the people that you've put in our lives, the opportunities that you've given us, the experiences we've had, Lord, there's nothing like your plan for us. So God, as we reflect on the things that you've done for us on how good you've been for us, let us not forget the ultimate sacrifice that you made for us, sending your son up on that cross. Lord, we are thankful for eternity with you, eternity in your presence. Let us live that out every single day. Amen. Well, it was so nice to get to worship and give thanks to God together, and I hope that you were able to join us wherever you are at home. Uh, but now I'd like to shift gears, because we don't only give thanks by expressing our praise to God in song. One of the things we do is we give thanks with each other that we're not individually thanksgiving givers. We are a community and we get to share with each other. And so I'm going to invite you at home. Uh, in just a moment, we're gonna do it here in the room. 
but sometimes it helps to anchor the things that we're thankful for. And so I've asked everyone that's joining us today to bring with them one object that reminds them of something that they are thankful for in this year. And so I'm really excited. I actually don't know what you've all brought. Uh, so I can't wait to hear and see what they are. We've gotten some, some sneak peeks, but I'll, I'll go first. And so I'll, I'll share with you guys. This is my gaming headset. Uh, that I just got this year. It's a razor. It's a really, it's like a nice, nice headset. Um, and I got it because um, when I was young and in college, I played a lot of group games. Uh, my floor, uh, my dormitory at the college, like we would get the whole floor in on a game and we'd have LAN nice. parties going on and we'd play all the time. Uh, and then I, about 12 years ago, I started having kids and uh, computer games went out the window. Yeah. Uh, I have not played computer games really in many, many years. Um, and then this year with um, with the pandemic being stuck home a little more and having fewer options to get out, I actually took the opportunity and I, I got um, circled around to a couple of old friends of mine and one or two new friends. And we started computer gaming together cool. this year. And we um, we now, it's, we're going on to this day, we, we have a regular Monday night gaming session and we're, we're scattered all around the country. Nice. Uh, and we've all got our headsets. And it was a way that I found both community and uh, a, an old hobby of mine in an unexpected way, an unexpected time. Nice. And to this day, Monday night has now become one of the highlights of my week because I'm going to I'm going to connect yeah. with uh, these great friends yeah. that I don't get to see in person, uh, but I get to hear their voices every week, uh, and we get to play a game together. We get to do something cooperative uh, and uh, and teamwork and competitive oriented together. And so that's been a really fun thing and been one thing I'm especially grateful for uh, yeah. this year in the pandemic. So that's my that's object. Pretty cool. Um, that's awesome. So Frank, I want to hear about you. What object did you bring in today and what are you going to share with us? You guys ever seen one of these, know what it is? It's yeah, an umbrella stand. I, right. <laughs> well, no. kind of. It's actually a magazine rack. And you don't see them very often anymore because of course, you know, with the uh, paperless world that we live in mm -hmm. and uh, electronic commerce and, and electronic communication, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're obsolete. Mm -hmm. This particular one was made in 1948. Oh. Wow. in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. by my father in his uh, eighth grade shop class. I so I want to talk shop. about my dad. Yeah. You know, so he gave us that um, item as like a piece of furniture when my wife and I moved into our first home. I guess he was helping us decorate, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not as really his thing, but I really value and treasure it like I do the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, he's been uh, kind of a rock and one of my closest friends for 60 some odd years, which is kind of tricky since I'm only 39. <laughs> Again, <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, I, I remember that that he's just has been a, a rock for me. You know, he had um, he gave us me enough rope in my younger years to give me some freedom and to fall down and stumble a little bit. But he held the reins tight enough that I didn't go off the rails, you know, That's a good point. and uh, he brought me up in the faith. Mm -hmm. uh, which I will be eternally grateful for, mm -hmm. literally eternally, eternally grateful yeah. for, right? <laughs> and yeah, ba -dum -ba -dum, right? <laughs> and uh, and I just remember uh, the times we had, even in my twenties and thirties, we we'd play uh, softball and basketball in church leagues and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. and on the weekends, there were three generations of us on the basketball court, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, Dad's a way different grandfather than he was father, right? You ever notice that? Mm -hmm. And then my son made the yeah. same comment. And I went, oh, yeah. whoa, yeah. <laughs> whoa, how'd that happen, passed. right? Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so I thought, you know, that's, uh, that gets you kind of thinking. Yeah. Uh, I, I got to Phoenix a uh, few months, a few weeks ago, I mean, and spent uh, some time with him. Mm. And of course, he's getting up there and he's um, nearing the end. And he, he realizes and is actually looking forward uh, to, to hanging with Jesus. So mm -hmm. I'm just thankful for my dad, the years we had together. And uh, and for my to my heavenly Father for loaning him to me, so oh, nice. that's uh, nice. pretty cool. Well, and I gotta tell you, if that's an eighth grade project, your dad must be. Yeah, he was nice. good. <laughs> you know what's funny about that is it might be the last time he had a wood tool in his hands. I mean, he's kind of a desk really? guy, really. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. he but he did a great job on that, and I value it. I really do treasure it, man. So, anyways, mm. Marcy. Did, oh, what did you bring? Well, that's kind of a nice segue with spending time with your dad because my item that I brought is a clock. Because, I mean, you know, what this year has taught, I think, all of us is the value of 
the time that we have, the quality of it, because it changed so dramatically. I mean, you know, we were quieting. Our time was much quieter for a very long time. And then slowly, incrementally, it, it, it kind of um, changed into uh, the ability to visit family again and visit friends again. And, and it pointed out how much we enjoyed that. Um, time also, this year in particular, because I have aging parents that we're seeing, you know, um, the end coming closer to us. I have uh, growing grandchildren and that time goes by so fast. Um, so it gave us the ability to just stop and, and appreciate all of that. Um, so yeah, time for everybody. We, we spent it differently this past year, but hopefully we spend it in a more valuable way in a lot of ways because God kind of forced us into that. The world forced us into that. We had to think, we had to be quiet. And only in that quiet times were we able to really reconnect with God. I mean, he, he doesn't speak loudly enough for us to hear him when we're too busy. So the busyness had to go away for a while and, and his voice just became so much clearer. Yeah. So that last year, the, the time we all spent um, relearning the value of our relationships, the value of our families, the value of our church family for so long, we couldn't even get together there. Remember how exciting it was when yeah. we got to go back to yeah. church yeah, and okay. see each other. And I think people even don't realize yet the value of the time we spend in community with each other, the strengthening that happens there. Yeah. So yeah, time. That was really good. I, you know, oh. people focus so much on the bad side of COVID. And oh, don't really I, I appreciate think, we all, all the positive seeing the things better? that came out of it. We're all no, seeing the really better are. side. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, what do you think? What do you well, have? I have something I carry with me all the time. Pocket knife. Um, if you know me, you know that this is almost always on me. Hmm. Um, except on your airplane. Except on the airplane. Yeah, I do check like as I'm going I'm through sure security. I touch my side numerous yeah. times to make sure it's not there. Um, but... I love this pocket knife um, because I use it every day, but I also love it because it reminds me of my childhood. I, I think I had a pretty great childhood. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in the country and my grandparents had a farm and I would work on their farm. They also had a construction company. I would work with them. So pocket knives were just, you had to have a pocket knife. If you were going to the farm, you needed a pocket knife. Mm -hmm. And um, my grandpa, it reminds me of my, all the stuff my grandpa taught me, my dad taught me, um, how to build things, how to fix things, all those kind of things. And it reminds me of times I've spent with the boys using it to sharpen sticks so that we could roast marshmallows <laughs> or make bows and arrows or whatever it is. Um, and this one I like in particular because on this end, this end is a bottle opener. So I've never had a pocket knife before that came with a bottle opener, and this end has a bottle opener. So now that I'm an adult, it makes me think about <laughs> all the times that. that I've spent using this bottle opener, gathered with friends yep. and family and the fun. And it's just, it's something that every time I use it, it just gives me like a good feeling inside. And I'm thankful for all of those memories. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And I tell you, it's one of the reasons why I invite you to things. <laughs> otherwise, we're not going to be able to open anything. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, I agree. I, I feel like that's that's the best time is when we're sharing times with others. And, and yeah, when, whether it's time spent, the, the things that you drink while you're while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. I, I love that that knife is not just a practical tool, yeah. but a, a social tool mm -hmm. uh, as well. Well, thanks, thanks for sharing, Jeff. Thanks for sharing, Frank, Marcy, everyone. Uh, we're going to keep talking over here ourselves, but now I want to turn it over to you at home. What's an object that for you would be one great way of summarizing what you're thankful for, even if it's just one thing that you're thankful for this year? So I hope that you'll talk about that with your family at home, and I hope that you will have a blessed Thanksgiving. Familiar highways Lined with leaves turning brown Making my way Back into my hometown Funny how this all looks different But it feels the same Like how life never stops changing Some things never change So feel your plate and feel your drink And fill this house with memories The kind of love that all these years can't wash away Cause the older that I get I see that life is short and bittersweet Thank God for this Thanksgiving Day
So fill your plate and fill your drink Put your dishes in the kitchen sink Let the leftover you just wash away Cause we made it through, I do believe The longest year in history Thank God that it's Thanksgiving Day